Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how to retrieve and complete an assignment that was given to you by your teacher digitally. So today you are going to go to your Google Classroom stream. And as you can see, I have posted a new assignment, a text to self worksheet for Cinderella. You can also retrieve this in the classwork column. It's right here at the top. So I'm going to show you how to retrieve it, how to fill it out, and how to turn it in. So click on the assignment, and you can see you, you'll see your name and the name of the assignment. I'm using Nathan's as an example, and I have permission from his parents to be able to use it as an example. So thank you. So you're going to click on the assignment. And this is the worksheet that I was telling you about that you are going to use for your text to self connections. So we are going to use Cinderella as the example. So right here in the title of the book, you're going to click right on the line and a text box will come up. So unfortunately, we're not able to use paper and pencil. You're going to be typing your answers. So the title of the book is Cinderella. As you can see, once you click off, it'll be left in the box. It's okay if it's not right on the line, as long as it's in the area where it belongs. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our text column, and we're going to remember one of the parts of the books that we made a connection to. So if I click in this box right here, another text box appears. That means that I'm able to type in that area. So I'm going to choose a part of the book that I made a connection to. So one of the things that we discussed was that Cinderella went to her school's basketball game. So that's exactly what I'm going to type into this box. All right, so if I click off, now that sentence is in the text box. Here is where I make a personal connection to what I typed. So in the book, Cinderella went to her school's basketball game. Now I go over to the next column and I'm going to type my personal connection, what it reminded me of. Well, it reminded me of going Johnson Parks teacher student basketball game, period. So here I have a piece from the text and then I have my personal connection. Now I'm going to move on. Now you can see this writing is a little small. If you'd like to enlarge it, you can. You can click back into it, highlight it, and then go up to the font and make it a little bigger. And I see that something doesn't seem right here, but it might still be a little difficult for to see. If you go up into the upper left hand corner, you see a little zoom button. You can click that zoom button and click right where you want to see. Now, if you click it again, it's going to get bigger. So make sure you unclick it. IR is not the word that I wanted. I wanted IT. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to double check. Now that makes sense. It reminded me of going to Johnson Park's teacher student basketball game. Now, if I want to zoom back out a little bit, I just check here and I can click zoom out and it'll zoom out for me. Now I'm going to go to my second box in the first column where my text goes. So I need another example from Cinderella that I connected to. I'm going to click this box and I'm going to continue writing my example. So Cinderella saw her aunt for the first time in a couple years. I'm going to make that a little bigger just so everyone's able to read it a little bit better. And I can go back and do that with my own text. Now, this is completely up to you if you want to modify the text. I wouldn't worry about different fonts and colors in this one. Just make sure that you have the sentence and the connections that go along with it. So Cinderella saw her aunt for the first time in a couple years. 
Well, that reminded me that I have an aunt that lives in Texas that I haven't been able to see for a couple of years. So that's what I'm going to write. Reminded me that I also have Reminded me that I also have an aunt that I haven't seen in a couple of years. Make that bigger so you can read it just a little bit better. Oh, little too big. There you go. Now, I'm going to take one more example that we talked about in my last box, in the last column. Cinderella felt sad when her sisters left her behind. just a little bit more. So the example I have in the text was that Cinderella felt sad when her sisters left her behind. Well, I remember that I felt sad when my friends went to the movies and I wasn't able to go. So that's the personal connection that I had. And that's what I'm going to type in that last box. I also felt sad when I wasn't able go to the movies with my friends. Period. Oh, friends, that was more than one. There you go. So I wanna go back and check my work. I have the title of the book, Cinderella. I have my text example, and then I have my feeling or connection to go along with it. Cinderella went to her school's basketball game it reminded me of going to Johnson Park's teacher students basketball game. Cinderella saw her aunt for the first time in a couple years. Oh, I reminded me. Wait a minute. Good thing I'm going back and checking my work. It reminded me that I also have an aunt that I haven't seen in a couple years. Finally, Cinderella felt sad when her sisters left her behind. I also felt sad when I wasn't able to go to the movies with my friends. So I chose three different parts of the book and how they connected to me. I'm able to make a text to self connection. Now that I'm all done and everything looks the way that I want it to, I need to share it. So I go back up to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna click the yellow button that says share. So here it says shared with Kelly Albany. That's the person that you want to share. Okay, your teacher will put their name on it and they're the one that it's going to go to. So you can just click done. And it's shared. Now, if you go back to your Google Classroom stream and you see view assignment, well, it's asking you to turn it in. This is one of the most important parts. So not only did you share it with me, but when you click turn in, that means that I'm able to give you a grade. So here you go, turn in. And your work is complete.